Broad 104. That's Old Dominion and the one that really got it started for them uh, called Break Up with Him. Good morning. It's 8-11 and uh, a sports figure, college graduate. It's been a big week. It has. Yeah. Jess Jekko, is that how you say your last name? That is how you say my last name. Who can now say that uh, she is a college grad. That, that is a very scary term. College grad, college alum, what? Uh, yeah, you just graduated on Saturday from Syracuse University. Yes, and it was, it was fun, and I can't believe it's over. So now, what are you going to do when you grow up, Jess? Uh, I actually have the honor of representing the USA team in field hockey, which not many people get to say they can do, and I get to continue to play field hockey as my full-time job. Which is kind of Sweet. crazy to think about it. I know. Is that not weird? What do you do for a living? I'm a goalie for a field hockey team. Yeah, that's just... When people ask me right now, it's probably what I'm getting at the most. And I'm like, well, you see, I'm actually going to be full-time with the U.S. team. And they're like, what? And that's insane. So what does that entail? What does that mean? That means my job is to wake up and play field hockey, work out, eat healthy. And I get to do that all full-time in September, and I can't wait to do it. And so will you travel the world, or how does that work? Well, hopefully, uh, depending on, it's going to be after Rio, so there's going to be a new group of people, and each, they, all, they right now, they're looking to go to England, London, they went to California for a couple weeks, and I'm really just looking forward to the journey ahead. And many people are on the team. I mean, this is an elite opportunity. Not many people get this, right? Right, yeah. There's, uh, right now, there's about 25 to 30 of us. And we're all from all different colleges, so it brings everyone together, brings the top athletes in the uh, field hockey program to one one team. And th this must be in your blood because you have a twin sister who does the same thing? Yeah, my twin sister, Vanessa, she actually went to MVCC and she won a national championship uh, a few years ago as a goalkeeper, which is kind of funny because we both have the goalie family. Uh, yeah. That's bizarre. <laughs> I know, right? And then in addition to that, you've already set a big goal, but you're not done. I mean, go big or go home, right? You've got bigger goals. Yes. Uh, I, right now, I'm looking to prepare for the 2020 Olympics. My name is in the 2016 Rio Olympics, but in reality, there's a couple goalkeepers that have been training for seven years for this, and I don't think people understand seven years of full-time field hockey, yeah. working out every day and trying to become better is... It just takes a lot out of you, and they have a lot more experience. But if my name gets called, I'll be more than happy to jump in and play. So we could have more Olympians from here instead of just Aaron Hamlin. You could be coming home with a medal one of these days. Yeah, that's what my ultimate goal is in 2020. I'm looking to bring home a field hockey uh Hopefully a medal. Any medal would be nice. Hopefully gold would be nice. Yeah, right? Nice. But anyone would be yeah. good, right? So what does the typical day entail? You, 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 you said you get up, you work out, you play field hockey. I mean, this is a tough life we got going on over here, Jess. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they train. I've been down there a couple times to train with them. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they have two sessions of field hockey in the morning. Their practices are two hours. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they have lift. And Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, they have running. And then they play Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and then sometimes Saturday. So, so when you were a little girl, did it, was this what you thought you were going to spend your life doing? <laughs> no, I can tell you I probably didn't know I wanted to play field hockey in college until my junior year in high school. And then, thankfully, someone at Syracuse caught, saw me play. And then I was thankful enough to join Syracuse University and get committed my senior year in November, which is late as it is. But... I really have to thank my high school coach because she really pushed me and my family and my friends. They all told me, go for it, go for it, go for it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go for it. Because Syracuse is a top elite program. And I wasn't sure if I was ready for it. Boy, your parents must be so proud. Yeah, they're listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom and Dad. Good job, good job. Keep up the hard work. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking that if you have a twin that also plays, mom and dad must have uh, went through uh, two or three cars just hauling people back and forth to practice. Oh, yes. <laughs> and a couple of heart attacks. You know, we had to pick goalies. We couldn't have been like a midfield or a forward. We had to be the goalie, the most stressful position yeah. on the job. And as soon as you had scored, all, all the other parents were like, oh, she should have had that. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and your parents are sitting there like, you know, she tried. Like, she didn't mean to let the goal in. Yeah, but now they can say, but she's on the national team. What does your kid do? Yeah. Yeah, they do have 
that now. Right, exactly. Well, we got a couple of people on Facebook. De uh, Debbie says, that's awesome. Congratulations. And Terry says, yay, Jess, good luck. <laughs> Tom, thank you very much. Thank you very much, she says. <laughs> I always appreciate the community support. I, Central New York support is amazing, is it not? They are, and that's why I hope that local field hockey kids, they can always reach out to me on Facebook. I do individuals. I'll be at a lot of local camps this year. That was my main goal. So if they ever want to find a camp where I'm going to be, you can reach out to me on Facebook, and I'll be there. Perfect, yeah. and we will follow your journey. We'll all cross our fingers. Good luck for your Olympic bid. Thank you so much. It's been an honor being here today. 817 Big Frog 104.